this is part two of our live chat number 123 and it was entitled open your mind so part two has nothing to do with opening our minds except except um to say um i let's see what could i use that for i could say um like if somebody said yeah yep exactly barbara if somebody said, you know, I don't know how to lighten up a recipe or, um, you know, or I, I won't ever get any healthy vegetables in or I don't like any of the zero point foods. Okay, so you could actually use, apply that to this week, you know, to what we did. So I'm going to go ahead and get this in. I'm going to show you what we're doing and get this in or we're going to run out of time on the finished part of it. But here's what we're doing. We're going to make spaghetti squash in the air fryer. So has anybody ever made spaghetti squash in an air fryer. This one is already done, and I'm gonna take this out so you all can see it. But this is in my Simple Living Products 5.8 quart XL. And I'm gonna take this one out. You can see that this one is done. And look how steamy it is. And we are gonna get the other, the next one ready to go in here. So I'm gonna show you all how to do this. Okay, this is still pretty warm. Pretty darn warm. Okay, so I am going to set it up here for just a few minutes where y'all can maybe see that, maybe not. Okay, this is how you get it ready. So you're gonna take an air fryer, an air fryer, oh my goodness. You're gonna take a knife, you're gonna take a spaghetti squash and cut the ends of it off, okay? Just barely cut the ends of it off to make them square. And the reason you're gonna do that is, and I've already cut this one so I can't cut it again, but I stand it up this way. I don't turn it that way when I cut it or I cut my fingers off. So you're gonna stand it up this way on its end and then cut, you know, take a big, heavy, sharp knife and cut all the way down. Then you're gonna take a spoon, after you split it in two, you're gonna take a spoon, and this one's a funky kind of a spaghetti squash. See how it's orange instead of yellow? I can't remember what the sticker said, but it looked really cool, so I got one. Then you're gonna take a spoon and you're gonna dig out this part. So you're gonna dig out the seeds and kind of the guts in the middle. And by the magic of television, look, mine's already done because I went ahead and pre-scored it for you. Okay, and if you were me, you would put that into another containment system like I just did so that you can compost it because you don't ever throw anything away. So now you have this. So now the spaghetti squash should look like this. Okay, and we're just gonna take it and put it in the basket. So you're gonna put it in the basket of your air fryer, okay? And if you want to season it, you can. I'm just gonna spray it with just a tiny bit of olive oil nonstick spray. Did you hear that tiny bit? And you're gonna put it in your air fryer. And I put it on for 360. So I know I did that really quick, but on my Power XL, because I wanted to get it in there and let it start cooking, or we're gonna run out of time to show what it looks, you know, to show again what it looks like when it's done. But this, this air fryer, this is my Power XL 5.8 quart um, digital air fryer. And so when you put it in there, the basket, my basket's already pre-seasoned because you do that when you first get it with a little bit of coconut oil and it makes it super easy to clean. So we have the cut spaghetti squash. So I've cut it, scooped out the seeds from the inside, turned one side upside down. You could, I could have done both of them at the same time and it would have been the same amount, amount of time in the air fryer, but I wanted to be able to show you all one while another one was cooking. And then on the, um, Simple Living Products um, air fryer, you just push this button, you push that button to get it going, then you push this button to change the time, and this button to change the temperature. So you are going to put it in there on 360. So you, so you, you turn it on for 300 to 360 degrees, and then you change it to um, um, 30 minutes. Yeah, I know Lindsay said she heard Dusty. Yeah, because Dusty heard me go chikink into the air fryer, so he thinks that's food time. Yeah, he thinks that's food. Um, but anyway, so I put it on 360 degrees, so I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's 360 and I put it in there for 30 minutes. So this was a pretty decent sized, um, a pretty decent sized one. Ooh, and Chris says put Alfredo sauce on it. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
and Carol Lou is for 30 minutes, but this one's a decent sized, you know, spaghetti squash. So it was like this big. I don't know how much it weighed. I really don't know how much it weighed. Um, but anyway, so, but it's really, really good. Um, it's good in the air fryer. And so, and what we're gonna use it for this week, one of the things that I'm gonna use it for is to bulk up to, hold on, let me grab my sign. So I'm going to use it to hashtag bulk it up this soup because you do use, you do use rice vermicelli noodles in here but I am gonna use the spaghetti squash because it's zero smart points. So I'm gonna use it to hashtag bulk up this recipe. And if I freeze a little bit of it, I might, I, we might make that next week. Okay, while we're doing this, so while we're waiting on that and, and, when I'm gonna, and I'm gonna show you how to get the guts out of this and then what to do with that, I'm gonna take this is just one teeny tiny example of what you could do with it. This is a half of a cup. Now it has water in it, so it started to swell because it's been sitting here, but this is just a half of a cup of Trader Joe's Italian fusilli. It's fusilli, actually, but um, it is. there's nothing special about this pasta other than I really like it. Um, and the whole bag is like pretty inexpensive um, at Trader Joe's, but this is only a half of a cup. The serving size is two thirds of a cup. But this is a half of a cup, which is four smart points. And then I put another half a cup of water in here. And so I'm just gonna pop this in the microwave for five minutes while we're doing this. Okay, so now we got two things going, but let's get back to the spaghetti squash. So this is what it looks like when you're done. Okay, so it looks like this when you're done. And Barbara, this is why we had this is why this little metal thing is here, and this is actually just the, um, let me set this back up here since I already got this a little bit oily. This is just the little pan that, came, that comes in your Simple Living Products um, air fryer, 5.8 quart digital air fryer. Um, so I'm just using it as a display. Hey Susie! So I'm just using it, not display, I'm using it as a stand upon for this. So now that this is cooked, you just take, you take a fork and can y'all see what it's doing there? So you just take a fork and you're gonna kind of shred it with the fork. So hopefully y'all can see that because I'm getting ready to make a ginormous mess if I don't stop. But you just keep doing that over and over and over and over again until you have, it is a dingle hopper, Lisa, yes it is. But you keep doing that until you have all until you have this whole thing shredded. And that sounds absolutely delicious in the Alfredo. But see how, in case y'all have never had spaghetti squash before, because I'm sure that there is someone, is there anybody who's never had, hmm, yeah, this one's orange. Is there anyone who's never had spaghetti squash before? Come on, just admit it. If you've never had it before, let me know. It is, and Loretta, it is 360 degrees for 30 minutes for this size. If you get one that's smaller than this, and you can do both halves at the same time, but if you get one that's, this is a half of one. If you get one that's smaller than this, you might wanna check it at about 25. And if you get one that is much bigger than this, I try not to get them much bigger than this, but if you get one that's bigger than this, then you might wanna check it at 30 and see, and you know, and see what you think. Okay, and Carla just says, no, not for me. Okay, Carla, or no, not me. So Carla, what do you think about it? Are you willing to try it? Stacy? are you willing to try it? Susie, are you willing to try this? Okay, so I'm not gonna show you all a cup. I'm not gonna show you all many things to do with it tonight just for the sake of, of time. Oh, we still have 20 minutes, so I can show you a couple more things. I'm going to show you what to do with what's in the microwave, though. But, okay, so you just fluff it up real good, you know, just kind of pulling it apart with my fingers just because, you know, again, for the sake of, for the sake of time. So, here's what you do with this. Okay, so now it's called spaghetti squash because it kind of looks like spaghetti. Um, so yeah, Kathy's never had it. So there's several of you who have never had spaghetti squash. Trish has never had spaghetti squash because she didn't know what to do with it. Okay, I'm telling you, in the air fryer, it is so easy. So I've tried baking it. I've tried microwaving it. I have tried, um, you know, I've tried a lot of different ways. The air fryer, though, I mean, each, it's cooked. It is cooked 
all the way around, I mean all the way through. So all of this is cooked, none of it's mushy. Um, sometimes in the microwave I'll get scorched spots, sometimes in the oven, you know, I'll get parts of it, part of it's cooked and part of it's not cooked. Um, but I mean, look how, look how just, I don't know. I wish y'all could smell this. I wish y'all could smell this because it smells really, really good. Okay, so butternut squash, I'm gonna try it for you. Mm -hmm. By itself is yummy. So you could totally do, you could totally do, okay, I think I just said, I think I just said butternut because somebody else said butternut. You could totally do spaghetti squash just by itself, but this is really good because it's got like a little, I don't know, it's like a nutty, it's like a nutty taste. And somebody from the Food Network, I'm sure, is going to come, is going to come and just take me away because I am picking at this with my fingers and sticking them in my mouth and not wearing gloves. And I'm not just being, I'm just being not very sanitary whatsoever. But let's face it, only me and John will be eating this. So it's not going to be a problem at all. So butternut squash, ways to eat, or butternut, stop it. Somebody said butternut a minute ago. Spaghetti squash. So, some ways to eat spaghetti squash while we're waiting on this to cook. Um, yes, Chris just said salsa. It's, got, it's really good with salsa on it. It's really good with a little bit of spray butter. It is excellent with nutritional yeast. Don't get me started talking about, talking about nu nutritional yeast. Ooh, and Betty says she's going to shock her mother and make it better than she does. Awesome. If you find, if you get a little butternut squash, this one's a little bit big to do this with, but if you get a small butternut squash, Yes, you can use nutritional yeast on it. Definitely, it gives it very cheesy taste. But if you want to do, um, oh, the microwave's ready. Uh, sorry, hold on, this is fussing with me. So if you had, come on, come out. Okay, so if you had a little bit smaller um, butternut, stop saying butternut, whoever said butternut, I'm gonna keep, Smack you, spaghetti squash. If you had a little bit smaller spaghetti squash, um, that like this one's a good size, but this is a lot. This this like to eat this whole half of one. This would be a lot for one person, but you could put some nutritional yeast on it. You can put um, some um, Trader Joe's light mozzarella cheese on it, and you can put some marinara sauce on it. And that's probably what I'm gonna do with one of these as I eat off of my hands. Don't come get me, Food Network people. But anyway food safety people, but um, so you could put the nutritional yeast, you know, maybe spritz the top of it with a little bit of um, olive oil again, just a tiny bit, not enough to be points, a little bit of marinara sauce, put on some nutritional yeast, and then, oh, uh, Missy, there's tons of stuff, tons of stuff to do to use the nutritional yeast for. Um, but anyway, then you put um, some, like some marinara sauce and some, maybe some garlic and stuff on there and then put nutritional yeast on it. And then the Trader Joe's um, light shredded mozzarella, put that on there and then stick it back in the air fryer, you know, for just a couple of minutes, just enough to brown up, you know, the cheese that's on top and to heat up the marinara sauce. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like twice baked spaghetti. But let me show you what, one of the things that we do though. So this was a half a cup. This was a half a cup of the Trader Joe's pasta. Hey taters, of the Trader Joe's pasta. And then a half a cup of water. And you can see most of the water has evaporated off. So this is for people who don't just want the um, acorn. Acorn, now see now you got me saying acorn. The spaghetti. Now this is for people who don't just want, don't want just spaghetti squash by itself like if you've got to sneak it in on you know kids or a husband or something then you can take a little bit of the spaghetti squash and you can put it in so that was for the for the pasta it was a half a cup of the Trader Joe's who's pasta and a half a cup of water I put it in the microwave on five minutes five minutes on high and you can see the pasta is completely cooked. Mm. So now, this is kind of a sneak attack. It's kind of a sneak attack on people who don't think that they're gonna want, ooh yeah, Chris says pizza sauce and turkey pepperoni to make it like a pizza. Ooh, that would be awesome, I've never done that. Okay, whoops, let me grab 
two things real quick that I did not think to get out before we started. Hold on just a second. Okay, so if you have people in your family who like cheap, 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 um, just regular, you know, mac and cheese, this is an easy way to sneak in some vegetables and to make Velveeta, like if you like if you eat shells and cheese, if you eat Velveeta shells and cheese, and we may have to put just a little bit of water in here because the pasta dried out just a little bit while it was waiting on me to come back and get it. But this is still just, this is still just the, you know, heated up. You can add a little bit of skim milk if you want to. You can add a little bit of fat-free creamer if you want to. You could add some fat-free ricotta cheese. Um, sometimes I'll put a little spray butter in this, and I know this doesn't look real appetizing while I'm stirring it up here, but trust me, it will be. So this is for people who have those in their lives that love macaroni and cheese, but they're not gonna eat their vegetables. So this is a great way to sneak some vegetables in go ahead and melt and it's melting it's already melting really well even without me without me putting it back in the microwave but when this gets done here I'll show it to you here in a second so that was I'm sorry that was two slices of Velveeta just regular Velveeta sliced cheese and I put that in with the pasta since it was a half of a cup that was four smart points the two pieces of Velveeta cheese are two smart points so that's six smart points and we're going to end up with over a cup of macaroni and cheese. Not one of my prettier things that I've made. And it's got, and it had some, so yeah, so it's less points, plus you just snuck some vegetables in here. So, oh yeah, and Lindsay says her 13 year old daughter, all she eats is mac and cheese. So when I get done with this, of course it's not gonna be pretty because I've mixed it now in the in the clear glass bowl. Let me grab another bowl. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Let me grab another little bowl. Okay. So, y'all tell me when I get this put out here if you think your kids would eat this. Because I know my pickiest eaters, my pickiest eaters eat this. And we still have gosh, there's still probably over a cup left of spaghetti squash just from the first, just from the first half. Okay, so this is the world's easiest, it's the world's easiest spaghetti squash, excuse me, I'll lick the bowl, spaghetti squash mac and cheese. So look at that. So your picky eaters, your picky eaters wouldn't even know that that had spaghetti squash you know, that I had vegetables hidden in there because it looks just like mac and cheese. And usually the people that I know that eat the most mac and cheese actually just love the cheapy cheap, easy, um, you know, the easy peasy, um, Velveeta, you know, Velveeta or Kraft, you know, kind. So that is one thing that you can do with it. So there's that. And then, and I'm not gonna mess up a whole bunch more dishes and show you all, you know, some more stuff, but look how much we have left of this. Look how much of this spaghetti squash we have left. So, let's see, and I'm not gonna wash my cup that has the cheese in it now. Let's just see how much, how much we can get out of half of a spaghetti squash. Carol, it was six point. this is six points, so, for all of that is six points because it's four point. It was four points for the pasta because we used a half. So here you can see it because we used a half of a cup of the pasta instead of the um, two thirds of a cup, like the serving size is. And you can use the pasta that has um, protein added to it, so it might be a little less points. You could use the um, carbonata, um, carbonata pasta, um, which has less points and no carbs or really low carbs. Um, but you could use any of that. And you don't have to mix 
any, you don't have to mix any pasta in with it. You could just use the spaghetti squash because it is absolutely delicious. And actually I'm gonna get something cleaner to put this in. But um, you could just, you can just do the spaghetti squash. I was just showing you how, you know, how you could hide some of it. But see how easy, see how easy this comes out? So, and, I'm, and there's still some in here. It's like it grows or something. Okay, so let me get something, gla another glass thing that I can show you how much, gosh, there's still some left in here. And this is half, this is half of this spaghetti squash. Okay, so who remembers, who remembers how many minutes I said? Who remembers what temperature, what temperature and how many minutes did I say? Who can remember that? Hmm? You get extra points. You get extra points for remembering how many, what the temperature, and how many minutes I say. So, look how fluffy that is. Look how fluffy and delicious. So with what we already put in the bowl, with what we already put in the bowl, you know, in the bowl making the mac and cheese, yep, 360 for, th yep, 360 for 30, 30 at 360, 360 for 30, good job. Good job, y'all get extra, y'all get extra Bravo stickers, extra Bravo stickers for paying such close attention. Okay, there is still a little bit left in here, still a little bit left in here, and I have another cup's worth in here, and then that was at least, at least a half a cup that I put in there. Okay, and then, let's look up real quick. So, spaghetti squash. Okay, let's look this up real quick in our, in our WW app. So, spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash cooked. A half a cup is a serving, so that's about how much I put in there. And it is zero smart points. It has a half a gram of protein, so it is still some protein. And it has 1.1 grams of fiber. So for just a half, so for just a half of a cup, um, you get all that. So that is 0.5 grams of protein. And then let's see with our Velveeta. And you can use the Velveeta shreds um, if you have those instead. Oops, wrong one. Oop, come on, phone. So you've got five grams of protein in the cheese. You've got 1.1 gram of protein, you know, in here. And then if you added some nutritional yeast, that would be even more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And this is an awesome and great way to make fluffy, fluffy, yummy to eat. You can still rebake it in the shell. You can put everything back in the shell, put it back in the air fryer. You can put it back in the oven if you want to, if you just wanted to braise the top, you know, just the top of it and not cook the rest of it, serve it that way. You can scoop it out. You can put it in with spaghetti. You can mix it in with noodles like we did here to make macaroni and cheese. You can add it into, it's delicious, add it into eggs. It's good just by itself because it has a nice, has a nice nutty flavor. Mm, it's delicious with nutritional yeast on it. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Um, I think the Alfredo idea sounds great. I'm gonna be trying that one. Let's we'll see how much time we have left. Oh, we still have 10 minutes left on our air fryer. So we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it for the, you know, before the air fryer quits, but let's just take a quick peek at it. peek a quick peek in here and that's how it's looking so you can see you can whoops, let me put it to the top you can see that both of those so both of them would have fit in here if I had you know if I had put them side to side by side but I wanted to show you how this you know how this was cooking but that's what it looks like so far okay and I'm gonna stick it back in here and let it finish cooking Remember, if it's a smaller, um, if it's a smaller spaghetti squash, you are going to want to um, check it. You know, like 25 minutes. 
but there's a ton of things you can do with it. I'll be showing you some things um, all through the week. I am, um, oh, and Misty wants to know how you store it. If you use it all at once, it will stay for several days in the refrigerator. If you wanna, sometimes I just divide it out into separate Ziploc bags or I put it into separate you know, little containers. Um, but really, we'll probably be through all this in just, you know, like a day or two. But it will keep for several days. And you can, if you put it in a Ziploc bag, like a zippered um, bag, I usually put them in smaller zippered bags and then put those into a bigger freezer safe, zip, you know, zippered bag. Um, and it can't, you can keep it in the freezer for a little while, at least for a couple of weeks. But there's tons of stuff. You can use spaghetti sauce. You can use um, Alfredo. I thought that was a great one. Um, you can make mac and cheese. But there's a lot you can do with it. It's a zero point WW food. Yes, Vicki, you can freeze it. But I would put it in the individual bags first. You're not going to want to have that big clump, you know, frozen. But this is making me hungry now. Haven't had supper yet, thinking I'm gonna have some mac and cheese um, because it's here and it's ready to go. But I'll give you all some ideas throughout the week. But don't forget to do your homework. I wanna see everybody make a spaghetti squash in the air fryer now. I think you'll love it. And Dusty is right here, either ready to try the spaghetti squash or to say goodnight. So let's see what he wants. Come on, buddy. But if you make something, if you make a spaghetti squash and if you tag me in it, you get extra bravos. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you all good night. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and get it put up before we go to bed. But everybody have an awesome week. Don't forget to do your homework and don't forget to tag me in it. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, please, please, please don't forget, subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, comment. I do like to hear your comments. There will be a link on there for how to order the spread shirts. But y'all have an amazing week and we'll see you next week. Good night.